Hi guys, just picked this kite up in a charity shop. Mint's Colourful Life, large cobra kite with long tail. Cost me £1.99. Made in China, contact us at Mint's Colourful Life at hotmail.com. Hmm, wonder if that's still relevant. Anyway. Having taken it out of the package, which is a rather nice bag, a little bit faded, so I think it's fairly old. We've only got three fiberglass spars, and we should have four. And there's two go across. Ah, which ones are which? Yeah. So these two go across. And then this one goes up the middle and we need another one at the bottom. I've looked through my bits and pieces. I've got this bit of carbon fibre tube from an old kite that was broken. And that is just about the right length. I've cut up a tin can and folded it into a tube. So that will go because these that one's actually wider than that one. It won't go in there. It's about the outside diameter of it. So, so I've cut up a tin tin cute tin cute tin can. So that will fit like that. I will put some tape around the outside to hold it. That should do. Give us the vertical cross member. That bit there was hanging loose, so in my best red cotton, so we can see what I've done. I've sewed that back in place. So I'll see if we can put it together. Right, our vertical spar is in place. The only thing is, I've now noticed that this one has obviously been broken on the end, so it's a bit shorter than it should be. If I stretch it out, we're probably about an inch short. I could probably put something inside that to lengthen it, just to give it that extra bit so it holds the sail stretched. I may take the easy option here. Barbecue skewer is about three millimeter diameter and that fits in that hole so I reckon I'll just use a bit of barbecue skewer, wrap a bit of tape around it and that will give us, oh and glue it in place we just need about that much extra so that'll probably do the job right beginning to lose the daylight it's uh, quarter past six now but I've extended this like I said just a little piece of barbecue skewer it's super glued in place and then I've wrapped some tape around it just to um, soften the edges. I've also found a little rubber grommet thing that I've put in the end there. So it doesn't try and poke through the cloth. So that's a tight fit now. So all we need now is a bit of wind to go and try it. I don't know what Jigu is, whether that's Chinese or whatever. 
a little bit dirty, but I don't think I'm going to worry about that either. That's probably where it's landed on the sand on the beach. Wet sand. So we might have another video out of it when we actually get it flying. And one final thing, <laughs> just looking at the kite string here. That's in a bit of a mess too. Looks like it'd be an idea to unwind it and try and wind it up again. Oh, that's not too bad. It looks like they've just got a loop in there that needs sorting. Yeah, I'll do that. The rest of it actually looks quite nice. Good size handle. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.